I bro, it's time we talk about Donda, the greatest fucking album ever made. And when I say Donda is the best album ever made, I'm not fucking with you guys, bro. We're talking about God's Not Finished. <laughs> We're talking about 24 hours. We're talking about all that shit, bro. When the Donda concert came out, bro, the world changed, bro. The world changed, and it changed for the better, bro. The world was corrupt, bro, and then Donda came out, and everybody came together, bro, in fucking unity, bro. You gotta remember, the COVID, bro, it was at the peak, bro. It was literally peaking when Donda was not into existence. What happens when Donda comes out? COVID basically disappears for the most part. Obviously, it's still around, I'm joking. But <laughs> for, for, for the video purposes, we're gonna just pretend it disappeared. And now, listen, boys. Donda is the best album ever fucking created. Man's literally off the grid. He said, God's not finished. He says, shit, <laughs> shit like, no child left behind. The amount of times I've been in my Discord server and I've spammed random Kanye lyrics has been at least a million times. Whoa, we fucking crashed. I didn't know you could do that. I've probably referenced Donda lyrics about a thousand times. It's just such a quotable fucking album. And I think that's why I love it so much. I love quotable music. And Donda really does offer so many different quotable bars. And the structure of the bars are really good throughout the entire project. Now, folks, I would be lying if I said that Donda was a perfect album. There are definitely some songs on the project that that really aren't that great. There's some skippable songs on the project. But all songs, they, they really, they fail to come even close to the God-tier song of Donda chant. Donda, 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 Donda. The greatest song ever produced by mankind. And, and Donda is really proves... And really proves just how far humanity has come in our our very short time here on Earth. Obviously, we got songs like Jail. Guess who's going to jail tonight? I always thought that was a weird song to have in like the second place on the album. Because cause you have the Donda chant. And then right after you have Guess, who, guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight. <laughs> I just thought it was always a, a weird, weird structure choice in the, in the album. <laughs> Jail makes sense to put like close to the end of the album or something. I'm not sure. But then you got I know God breathe on this. I know God breathe on this. And that's one of the the, the bangers of the album. And then you got we off the grid 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 this for my kid kid kids. Everything we did for the crib. <laughs> and then you got Hurricane with the weekend in it, which is just the most beautiful song ever crafted by man. No, actually, Hurricane has some really beautiful parts to it. Hurricane is definitely one of the, the standout songs from this project. And right after Hurricane, you have Praise God, which is the most popular song on the album. But it's not my favorite song. It's not. I wouldn't even say it's, it's actually one of my top songs on the project. It's a good song, but it is not even close to one of my top songs on the project. Then you got Jonah. Okay, okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> I love OK OK. OK OK is one of the best songs on the project. I love that song. Price went up. <laughs> That's one of the best ones. And then we got 24 hours, 24 carats. Yeah. Kanye really does. He puts all the fucking good songs right at the start. <laughs> he knows that the, the songs near the end aren't as good. But I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate him putting all the good songs at the start. There are some good ones near the end, though, that I also really do like. Songs like uh, like New Again and Tell the Vision, those songs fucking pop. And don't forget Remote Control. He's got me on remote control <laughs> like a CEO. That song's a banger, bro. This whole album is full of fucking bangers. And, and really, Donda is going to go down as one of them albums that is always looked at as like, some people didn't really fuck with it at first. But I really do believe Donda is the best Kanye album ever made. Donda 2, now, I'm going to be a fucking skeptic here. I kind of just put Donda 2 and I kind of just mix it with Donda 1. It's all, I just kind of treat the album as if it's the same thing in a sense. I know that doesn't make sense. 
I treat Donda 2 and Donda 1 basically like the same project. Because Donda 2 just feels like an extension of what we've already got. <laughs> so I, I do treat songs like City of Gods and Flowers. I kind of treat them as like an extension of the starting Donda. I think my favorite song that they've leaked from Donda 2, though, is probably Security. That song just goes hard, bro. I don't know about what about it, but that whole song goes hard. But my favorite song... Actually, I really do fuck with the song that they leaked at the start of Donda. If you guys followed Donda from the very start, you'll remember that they leaked No Child Left Behind. It's kind of this leaked intro track to, to kind of like show us what Donda was all about. I really do fuck with that song. No Child Left Behind is probably one of the better songs on the Donda album. But my favorite song, bro, my favorite song on Donda has got to be... And it's got to fucking be, bro, come to life. It's just a beautiful song. I really fuck with the music video, which was actually just part of the live stream. But uh, really, the whole thing was so beautiful. And how the, the house burns down is just such an iconic Kanye moment, uh, really, for the whole Donda album. And it was also the first time we saw the house burn uh, in any of the live shows. So it was really a cool thing to watch. But yeah, bro, that's Raider Night reviewing. Kanye West, Donda, bro, this is the City of Gods, we're, we're drifting in this fucking car right now, and I'll probably see you guys for the next video, peace.